So hey guys, in the past I did a video on Tractor Supply's County Line 28 ton log splitter. Basically a rebrand, a speed co. And since then, uh, years gone by, I've processed a whole lot more wood through it and thought I would give an updated review on it. Before we start, I do want to make note that I have no affiliation with Tractor Supply or Speedco. These are all my own personal thoughts. This is a machine that we went out and purchased ourselves. So let's talk a little bit about the specs of the machine. It has the Honda GC190 motor on it. Parts are quite easily available. It's a 190cc motor, roughly around 6 horsepower. Uh, it's definitely not Honda's finest motor, but so far it's held up quite well and often will start within one or two poles. That motor has a direct connection to the hydraulic pump which does 11 gallons per minute in uh, roughly around a 17 second cycle time. So when I originally reviewed this machine I had three major concerns. One was the exhaust location and having it blowing on you, especially in the vertical position. The other thing is the hydraulic filter location is quite susceptible to falling logs. And then the final thing was is whether there was a decent four-way wedge option out there. Uh, let's face it, if you get a four-way wedge going, uh, you can speed up your time quite considerably. And with those protective guards on there, it gets a little bit more tricky just because of the design. So most of my concerns are still there for these things. Uh, the exhaust thing hasn't been as big of a deal as I thought, mostly because I don't work in that vertical position that much. The four-way wedge option, I do still have hope in this area. I did do a review on a slipover four-way wedge, but that was a complete fail. If you have any interest in checking out that video, I'll put a link in the description below. But I did recently find out about another permanent four-way wedge solution. Basically, you replace the existing wedge on there. It's supposed to be taller and uh, much more durable. The part number for that, S4014600. The one downside is this part doesn't seem like it's very accessible if I were to go run down to a tractor supply or fleet farm or uh, some place that sells this stuff. I did find one place online for it and it was about $150 and I think it was roughly $30 for shipping. So we'll just say $200 for that. So it's a little harder to bite the bullet uh, than just spending the $60 for the four-way wedge, but it does look much more promising. So that's something I think I will address down the road, but just not currently at this time. So the one other thing that has come up since my original review is when working in the vertical position, especially with big, large rounds, when you flip it up, there's a plate that sits on the ground. It's not very big. And if that log isn't perfectly straight up and down, let's say you didn't get a real nice square cut or something, and you put that on there, and it's at a slight bit of an angle as it tilts upward, it can actually start pushing the whole splitter away. You gotta really get things squared away. So you end up spending a lot more time monkeying around and battling with that. Plate was a little bit bigger. So those are really the only negative things I have to say about this. Uh, I, I really think very highly of Speedco's product. I also um, am just amazed with their customer care. When I had that four-way wedge option issue, I reached out to them. They were very quick to get back to me and more than willing to and happy to uh, make things right. Uh, for some of the features on the splitter, I really like how easily transportable this thing is and the fact that it's uh, freestanding. So it makes it very nice. You can drag it out to your wood piles and then have your hitch available to you know hook up a trailer and haul around more wood. Uh, it's coming very handy. If I've gone down and helped out neighbors and stuff. One of us will be out hauling the wood in. The other guy can be sitting there um, splitting it. Also, you know, the ability to split into a vertical position, something I don't use all the time, but it has definitely saved me a couple times where I just couldn't get those rounds lifted just way too heavy uh, and was able to get the job done. Another thing is it's been able to handle everything I've thrown at it. It's had more than enough power. There's been a couple times it's bogged down, but man, the stuff that I was putting it, you know, through it, it wasn't splitting it. It was pretty much just driving the wedge straight through. It's almost like splitting it, a log turned sideways and it just got the job done. So, you know, one other big selling point for me was uh, I spent many years splitting my hand. It's a lot of work, uh, both on the arms and the back. It has saved me a considerable amount of time and wear and tear in my body. So in the final thing is the price point. These come in around $1,000 brand new. I'm sure you could find them used on Craigslist or uh, somewhere else for a, a cheaper price. I was originally gonna build a splitter but by the time I was starting to round up supplies for this, you know, get an I-beam and the, the hydraulic pump and the ram and 
all that stuff. It was not that far off from the price that I paid for this, plus it came with a warranty. If you are thinking about getting one of these, keep an eye out in the newspaper as well. A lot of times they'll have like a 10% off coupon and you're able to use it on some of these big purchases. So, you know, $1,000, it's $100 savings right there. So uh, not a lot's changed since my, my first review. Just some time, a little bit of paint chipping off maybe, uh, but this thing has just been rock solid. Uh, maybe I'll do an update on this in another five years and see where we are at that point. But I tell you what, I've been very, very pleased with it. So I thought I would just give a kind of an update on it. It's, it's um, definitely got some wear and tear. I'm guessing I've put 20 cords through this thing between filling our wood piles and helping some friends and neighbors out. So um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.